Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about my top five favorite fish in the fish room. Before I start this video off, I really quickly want to say that the favorites on this list are just my favorites right now in the fish room and the favorites in the fish room could obviously change within the next 365 days. So take everything with a grain of salt. These aren't like my hardcore opinions and it was actually very hard to make this list. And anything that's on this list is kind of like something that I'm really interested in and finding really fun at the moment, but it doesn't mean that the other projects in the fish room aren't fun and that I don't like those fish or that I neglect those fish or whatever. These are just the things I'm enjoying at the moment. I'm also really interested to see whether you guys agree so leave a like down below um, it helps this video out a lot also comment down below your list of your top five favorites at the moment I kind of want to see what's popular in the hobby at the moment as well whether I'm just finding things that aren't actually interesting interesting and just seeing other people's opinions it always makes me smile without any further ado let's get into it okay so number five on the list was a really hard one to pick from this was between the Praycox or the dwarf neon rainbows and the bosmanis so i've gone ahead and selected the bosmani rainbow fish as my number five on this list the reason i selected the bosmanis is because they're a little bit more colorful than the Praycox, and i haven't kept them as long and i haven't had as much success breeding them yet and it's kind of something that i'm looking forward to doing in the future now because of those reasons it's kind of taken the top place over the Praycox. these have been one of the most fun fish to keep for for a lot of reasons. Now, I like to keep these guys above my plecos in my pleco tanks and I use them as dither fish. Now, they've been excellent dither fish. They look really cool. Something that I've really enjoyed about keeping them is up the back of the fish room, I've actually got my next generation of broodstock. Feeding those guys and watching them swim through an aquarium is absolutely mesmerizing. And the colors that the males display in the morning has just been terrific. Like, I've never seen a fish display more color than these guys have. Well, I mean, like, there's a lot of fish that display really good colors, but for a really small fish, they look fantastic. The reason I've selected them on my favorites is because I'd love to use them in like an aquascape. I always think they'd look fantastic and because they're really easy to breed as well. Raising the fry can be a bit tricky, but besides that, like once you get them through that stage, raising them up is like one of the most satisfying things to do. I've had a lot of fun doing it in the past. Those Marnie Rainbow Fish are my number five on the list. They're good, they stay like a decent size. Like they get quite big, like if you let them grow up as adults. But the ones I have at the moment aren't too big and have been really easy to care for. Not really fussy on water parameters that much. Not to say that you can keep them in any water parameters, but I keep mine at a neutral seven to 6.5 and I do fantastic. And another thing too, is they're from my locality. They're not actually from my locality in Brisbane. I think they're from New Guinea, but close enough, <laughs> kind of close to my area in the world and are something really cool. So I'd love to someday be able to go to the wild and try and find some of these guys, but I don't know whether that's gonna happen at least anytime soon. Number five favorite on the list is the Boast Mining Rainbow. Okay, and then number four on my list is gonna be Discus. Now, a lot of people will be surprised that I chose these guys. Now, there's a few reasons why I've chosen them and it's kind of annoying because I haven't been able to do what I want to do with discus in this fish room. I've talked about this plenty, but I've got big plans for the next fish room to actually breed these guys properly and do everything that I've wanted to do with this fish. But in my limited time and experience keeping them, I've had so much fun. I originally started off with a pair, Lemon and Clementine, who I still have, and I bred them, and then I bought a few more pairs, which I've since moved on. But I've got that original pair, Lemon and Clementine, which are a Flora discus pair, and they just look fantastic. Like they're probably, well, they're definitely in the top five best looking fish in the fish room. And the other thing that's so cool about them is their personality. Watching them as a breeding pair has been pretty fantastic. Like when they breed, they kind of, you know, show off to each other and do like interesting like things like walking past each other like that. You know, just watching their interactions with their fry, like seeing the fry swimming around them has been absolutely mesmerizing. Another thing too is like having the discus in a grow out tank and feeding them food that you've made and like watching them eat that, that's just one of the most satisfying things in the entire hobby and watching them get color. Yeah, they've just been absolutely fantastic. Now, the reason I haven't really bred a lot of them is because they need a ton of grow out space and they need really consistent water changes and the water parameters that I have aren't really good for growing out discus. I need to set up a separate system to do that and do it properly. Until then, I guess we're just gonna keep them and enjoy them and I'm not really focused on breeding them right now they're just sitting in the tank and looking cool big plans for them in the future but they're my number four on the list i really want to get some red melons and some blue diamonds and things like that as well in the future and breed those and make videos about that but we're gonna have to be patient we're gonna have to wait for the next fish room but yeah number four on my list is discus and then number three on my list is going to be dark knight rams now this is going to blend in with the blue rams that i have and the blue blacks well more the blue blacks i guess i've had so much fun keeping my blue black rams and breeding them when i first got them i noticed a fish store near me had a pair of blue blacks. I went and bought them because I thought that they had the gene for the Dark Knight Ram. I bred them and it turns out they did. I've been breeding a few Dark Knight Rams, not as many as I'd 
like. I'm now on my third generation of Rams and hopefully I'm gonna be breeding some actual Dark Knight Rams instead of just breeding a ton of blue-black Rams. The reason they're here on the list is because of firstly how they look, like they're so cool. Secondly, I kind of developed them myself. I didn't really develop them myself, like obviously someone overseas has bred them, but to buy a blue fish and kind of know that it's got the blue-black gene or the black ram gene, I guess, in it, breed it and then get black rams out of it has been so cool. Like I've had so much fun doing that. They're really prolific at breeding when you get them to breed so they can have like 500 babies at once and when you see those all in a tank and raise them all up, they're so fun to watch. And yeah, they've just been really fun to keep in my opinion. I do want to get some other different types of rams. I want to get gold rams and some electric blue rams as well. I'm, I'm kind of waiting to find a good supply of them. As a lot of people would know, rams are one of the more finicky species in the aquarium hobby. They've been one of the hardest to keep and also one of my most successful at the same time just because of the amount of effort I've put into them. I've had a lot of fun keeping them, sold tons of them. Like I've bred thousands of them at this point. Don't plan on stopping doing that. So I guess Dark Knight Rams are my number three on the list. And they were a hard pick as well because there's lots of other different dwarf cichlids I have in the fish room, like my Pistogrammas that also kind of competed for that spot. But number three, Dark Knight Rams. Now, a lot of you guys are probably gonna guess my next two on the list. If you guys have been watching the channel for a bit, you probably know it. Coming in at number two on my list is the Leopard Frog Pleco. I haven't personally had a lot of success with the Plecos yet. I'm still learning how to breed like a lot of these rare Plecos and try and raise them up properly. And I've recently started having success. I wouldn't even say having success. Like I've had a few clutches of eggs. I've struggled with fungus a bit and I haven't even spawned my Leopard Frog Plecos. They were actually the f Actually, no, they weren't the first. They were the second Pleco I ever got. I got them a week after I bought my Snowball Plecos. Since then, they've definitely been my second favorite Pleco in the entire fish room. And they're above all the other species in the fish room just because of how rare they are. Another thing about Leopard Frog Plecos is how unique they look compared to other different types of Plecs. Lots of other Plecos don't really have the same kind of patterns as the Leopard Frogs do. Yeah, they're just a really interesting looking species. So I'm really looking forward to trying to breed them in the future. And I've got plans to set up a small kind of aquascape for these guys in like in the near future. So you guys can look forward to seeing that. Yeah, the reason I put them here is because firstly, I love feeding them. Like when you feed them, they all get really excited. They come out of their caves and they come and eat the food you put in the tank. So that's really cool to see. Another thing too is they're obviously rare and they look unique and yeah, they're just one of the coolest species in the fish room. They're very similar to the number one spot on the list, which a lot of you guys have probably already guessed. And, and coming in at number one is gonna be the Zebra Plecos. For obvious reasons, the Zebra Plecos is the number one on my list. I've wanted them for a very long time. They're like the pinnacle of Pleco keeping in the entire hobby, I'd say. Like, there's probably Plecos that cost a lot more than Zebs do, but Zebs are like one of the iconic Plecos. There's like not a single fish that really looks like a zebra pleco. They're endangered in the wild and they're threatened in the wild. The ones I've got are all tank bred and tank raised, so I don't buy wild caught fish, I'd never do that. But because of that, they're really rare and they're really cool. Now, I first fell in love with these guys when I went to my local fish store. I was just looking through the tanks and I noticed that there was a tank with like a $500 pleco in there. And I looked in there and I saw the zebra plecos and there was two of them. And I wish I bought them, I didn't buy them because I was like, that's way too expensive. In hindsight, I should have bought them. I looked at them and I was like, I've never seen a fish that looks like this that is so cool i did so much research i got super obsessed with them i watched like every single video on youtube about them and towards the end of i think it was 2020 yeah it was the end of 2020 i got my first colony of five and then i also got another colony of four so i've got nine total fingers crossed this year we're going to get some breeding going on if i have males and females so hopefully i do and i can make some amazing content and finally tick off a couple of the fish room goals i have super unique looking super rare for obvious reasons they're my favorite i've been obsessed with them for so long and so many other pleco keepers are super obsessed with them as well and to have success with them would just be like one of the like biggest things i'd ever do in the hobbies anyways that's my list of the top five let me know down below what you guys think whether you agree or what your list would be and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video